Hello everybody, welcome to Saturday. Um, I took a little break from vlogging because to be honest, um, all of this week was gray in New York City. There was nothing inspiring. I barely left the house. Like, I didn't have any energy to um, vlog or have any conversation about anything. And so where I'm at right now is that it's Saturday. I have spent the day trying to vote. Um, I want to get some things off my chest. I have actually come down from my mighty high horse of trying to preach to people of like what they do should do. Um, I will be honest, I think any guy who has dated me, I think all of my friends and including my family, anybody who knows me, it knows that like I value autonomy and I value sovereignty, right? And I think that a lot of people should. I think what is important is being able to make your own decision and avoid groupthink, avoid, you know, thinking like the rest of the people and knowing that you are somebody who values your individuality it feels like with this election you know politics has become the new reality show it's not keeping up with the kardashians anymore it's keeping up with you know the trump administration I don't want to come over here and be like i know everything about um you know anything in politics because truthfully who is my local congressman who is my local councilman and district attorney i don't know any of those things and what upsets me about this election is that because it's now a reality show and it's like the biggest thing and now it's like the cool trend to do and it feels like everyone is getting on this bandwagon to be like hey you should you register to vote it's now the hot topic conversation you know I'm being active I'm but like I went to see my father the other day and he asked me who I was voting for and I come from some really um, traditional parents and households and friendships that have been known to say you know that's kind of personal and it is and I had the conversation with him about who he was voting for and why he was voting and, and all that stuff and and I caught myself trying to tell him certain things about these um, candidates and I was like who the fuck am I to be telling my father who who how he should be thinking and that is the point that I'm trying to trying to make think for yourself make sure that you are thinking because this process of voting is extremely frustrating where I am at right now is that I woke up and made myself breakfast and I was like oh I'm gonna go vote so I go to my local place a couple blocks away and they were like oh you're registered in the Bronx and I was like no I got this email and it says that I'm registered I can't freaking find the email so now I look silly so I'm going through my phone going through and I was like you know what I'm just gonna go home the lady was like oh go to this place in the Bronx it is a whole hour and a half away it's so far it's like my old 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 address but the website has me registered to somewhere that is locally so it's just a ring around the rosy and of course I got to this point where I was like fuck voting this is so fucking frustrating why isn't the system updated and like this is our democracy this is our world in which it's not easy to do this but there is a huge importance for this election that I completely understand but what I won't be doing is posting my um, trials and tribulations of trying to vote I won't be posting my fucking sticker I won't be posting um, debates about how I feel about Trump and Biden and Kamala and, and Pence and all that stuff because uh, truthfully it's exhausting. Pen this pandemic has caused a lot of people unnecessary stress. United States ain't taking nothing serious and furthermore we are still in a place where um, the vaccine hasn't been made. We have no idea how to keep this under control meanwhile other countries are paying their citizens to stay the fuck home and mind their business and tend to their kids. I have a mouthful of things to say and there are moments where I have nothing. So I am going to try to go vote again. If not, I will try it again tomorrow. Whatever that is, I'm probably, this is probably gonna be my only conversation about it and I will keep it to myself. But I think it's time to also take a step back from social media and um, just be quiet and see what happens and know that if you did the best that you could of whatever decision like you wanted to wanted to do then then do it but i think when it, it is a now group think of like we have to vote for biden we have to vote for biden and kamala harris but then if you hear anybody who says they're voting for trump it becomes a policing situation where i've got to tell you how to think act and perceive the world and i don't fuck with that um happy halloween um yeah
I hope everybody is enjoying themselves. Take care of yourself. Get your health up. I'm going to try to record some videos, but I kind of want to stay low from social media in general because it's exhausting. It is very exhausting of the social media trends and this 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 campaign that's going on. You know, we're T minus, you know, 3 days from the biggest election of our fucking lives. And the cosmos are doing a lot of things. We are in Mercury retrograde, Mars retrograde. There's other two other planets there is a full moon today and all of your senses are highly highly sensitive right now and so one wrong thing and anybody could combust and that kind of energy needs to be explored in, in depth for people to just be mindful of like who to be around and when to be around people and um, go forward from there so happy Saturday see you guys soon